Good day, grade 11s. Welcome to week number 10. We are continuing with analytical geometry, and today we start with something new, and that is collinear points. So what are collinear points? Collinear points are all on the same line. This means that if we have three points, A, B, and C, the gradient between A and B will be the same as the gradient between B and C. And that makes sense because if you think about it, let me just draw something here for you. If you've got three points and you've got A, B, and C, if they're on the same straight line, then the gradient between MBC has to be equal to the gradient between AB. Because if it didn't, if for example C sat over here, we'll make the C dashed, then do you see that that can't be the same line because of the fact that it doesn't have the same gradient? So curl in your points are points that are all in the same line and the way that we prove this is by proving that the gradient from A to B is the same as the gradient from B to C. If that's true then these three points have to be on the same line because think about this as well if they for example you have a gradient from A to B and that for example is 2 and then we say okay but the gradient from B to C is also 2 then you could say to me but it could be a line parallel to this, but it can't be because B is a common point. So the only way that this can happen is if we bring that line down onto this line here, and then that is that line there. Okay, so let's look at a couple of examples. It says, first of all, show the points A, 22 minus 3, B, 4, 3, and C, minus 5, 6 are collinear. So I'm not even going to bother to draw this, we're just going to prove it to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the gradient, the gradient of AB. And to make this easy for myself, I'm going to call A point 1, and therefore this is going to be X1, Y1, and this is going to be X2, Y2. And remember the gradient is rise over run, which is Y2 minus Y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 3, so it's going to be 3 minus y1, which is minus 3, over x2, which is 4, minus x1, which is 22. So it becomes 3 minus minus 3, so it becomes 3 plus 3 over 4 minus 22 is minus 18. 3 plus 3 is 6, that's 6 over negative 18. And we can simplify that by making, dividing both the top and the bottom by 6, and you get negative a third. Right, now we need to show if these are collinear, then the gradient from A to B has to be equal to the gradient from B to C. So now we're going to go M of B, C. So since we let this be X2 and Y2, I'm this time I'm going to make this X1, Y1. So you'll see that it actually doesn't make a difference which way you do this. So again, your gradient is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So then you've got Y2, which in this case is 3, minus 6 all over x2 which is 4 minus minus 5 3 minus 6 is minus 3 over 4 minus minus 5 becomes 4 plus 5 which is 9 which equals minus a third therefore we can say therefore a b and c are co linear. In other words, they lie on the same line. So if we plotted these out, they would all be on the same line. Let's look at another example. It says, if minus 1, 8, 1, minus 2, and x, 1 are collinear, what is the value of x? So I'm going to call this point A, and this point B, and this point C. Now what do we know? We know that if these are collinear, then the gradient of AB has to be equal to the gradient of BC, which also, just for fun, has to be equal to the gradient of AC. They all have to be the same gradient because they're all in the same line. 
So they've asked us to work out what x is if it is collinear. So let's start by finding the gradient of AB. So I'm going to let A be again 0.1. So this is going to be x1, y1. And then B is going to be x2, y2. Okay. So do you agree that M of AB is going to be y2 minus y1 of x2 minus x1, which is going to be minus 2 minus 8 over 1 minus minus 1, which is minus 10 over 1 minus times minus is a plus, so it becomes 1 plus 1, which is 2, which is minus 5. Okay, so the gradient of AB is minus 5. That means the gradient of BC also has to be minus 5. It also has to be minus 5. So let's change color just so that we can see. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at the gradient of BC. So let's see, our points are B is 1 minus 2, and C we've called is X1. We're going to let, why don't we let, for a change, let this be X1 and this be Y1. Then this is going to be X2, Y2. And let's just substitute that into the formula for the gradient, which is MBC, which is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, which in this case is Y2 is 1 minus minus 2 all over x2, which in this case is x, because that's what we're trying to find out, minus 1. And that all has to equal to minus 5, because we've said that if they're collinear, they have to have the same gradient. So then we've got 1 minus minus 2, which becomes 1 plus 2, which is 3. 3 over x minus 1 is equal to minus 5. So to solve this, I'm going to take this x minus 5, 1 to the other side by basically multiplying both sides by x minus 1, and that cancels. And you end up with 3 is equal to minus 5x, minus times minus is a plus 5. And then if I take the 5 back across, I end up with 3 minus 5 is equal to minus 5x, right, you with me? 3 minus 5 is minus 2, is minus 5x, and therefore x is equal to 2 over 5. So for these three points to be collinear, x has to equal 2 over 5. And that grade 11s is collinear points. So what I want you to do now is go and practice, make sure you understand the concept of collinear, which means they're all in the same line, and then go do the questions at the end of the assessment. Have a great day.